Welcome to SMT Tutor Tube. Today we will be exploring the topic of kinetics of particles through various examples and illustrations. Get ready to learn and understand this subject in interactive way. What is kinetics of particles in Engineering Mechanics 2 Dynamics course? In general, kinetics of particles refers to the study of the motion of particles including the causes of motion and the relationship between the motion of particles and the forces acting on them. The kinetics of particles is based on Newton's laws of motion and the laws of conservation of energy and momentum. Let's proceed to some practice exercises on kinetics of particles. These exercises will help you to apply the concepts and formulas. 1. Calculating the velocity of a sliding object attached to a spring. 2. In this scenario, we have a spring that has an unstretched length of 0.4 meters and a stiffness of 200 newtons per meter. We also have a 3 kg slider that is attached to this spring and is released from rest at point A. The object and spring move in the vertical plane. First, what are the givens? Unstretched length of spring is 0.4 meter and stiffness spring constant K equals 200 newtons per meter. Mass of slider is 3 kilogram. Mass of slider released from rest at point A or the datum line. Then, the question is, what is the velocity of the slider as it reaches point B in the absence of friction? To calculate this, let us use the conservation of energy. We can use the equation conservation of energy of point A is equals to conservation of energy of point B. The conservation of energy that consists of kinetic energy, elastic and potential energy. Kinetic energy is zero at point A because of the slider released from rest, velocity is zero. Then kinetic energy is zero. In this case, Potential energy at point A is equal to half times, spring constant K times, displacement X squared plus, weight of slider times, zero to datum line, is equal to 16 joules. Where K is the stiffness of the spring and X is the displacement from the unstretched length. We also know that the total mechanical energy of the system is equal to the potential energy at point A plus the kinetic energy at point B. Since there is no friction, this energy is conserved, which means that the kinetic energy at point B is equal to the potential energy at point A. The kinetic energy at point B is half times, mass of slider times, velocity squared, where M is the mass of the slider and V is the velocity. So, we can set these two equations equal to each other and solve for V. Sixteen is equals to half times Mass is 3 kg times, velocity squared plus, half times, spring constant 200 times, square root, 
0.8 squared plus 0.4 squared minus 0.4 squared plus mass 3 times gravity 9.81 times minus 0. The velocity slider at point B is equals to 1.537 meters per second. Therefore, the velocity of the slider as it reaches point B in the absence of friction is 1.537 meters per second. Hello and welcome to our tutorial on determining the final velocities of two cylinders after a collision. In this tutorial, we will be working through a problem where two cylinders with different masses, velocities, and a coefficient of restitution collide along a smooth shaft. We will also be calculating the percent of the original energy lost during the impact. Let's start by defining some key terms and variables. In this problem, we have two cylinders, labeled as cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. The mass of cylinder 1 is given as M1 equals 1.5 pounds and the mass of cylinder 2 is given as m2 equals 2 pounds. The initial velocity of cylinder 1 is given as v1 equals 0.8 feet per second, and the initial velocity of cylinder 2 is given as v2 equals minus 2.4 feet per second. The coefficient of restitution is given as e equals 0.5, and the shaft is described as being smooth. Now, Let's begin by using the conservation of momentum equation to find the final velocities of the two cylinders after the collision. The conservation of momentum equation states that the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. So, we can write the equation as mass of cylinder 1 times initial velocity of cylinder 1 plus mass of cylinder 2 times initial velocity of cylinder 2 is equals to mass of cylinder 1 times velocity of cylinder 1 after collision plus mass of cylinder 2 times velocity of cylinder 2 after collision. This is equation 1. From equation 1 negative 0 0.11274 is equals to 0 0.04658 times velocity of cylinder 1 after collision plus 0 0.0321 times velocity of cylinder 2 after collision. Next, we will use the equation for the coefficient of restitution which states that E equals velocity difference after collision divided by the velocity difference before collision. Where V1 prime and V2 prime are the final velocities of the two cylinders after the collision. By solving this equation, we can find the final velocities of the two cylinders. V1 prime is equals to negative 1.943 feet per second. V2 prime is equals to negative 0.343 feet per second. After collision both cylinder moving the same direction into negative x-axis direction. We can solve for the percentage of the original energy that was lost during the impact. It's worth mentioning that this is only one way to solve this problem. Also we can use the conservation of energy equation which states that the total mechanical energy before the collision is equal to the total mechanical energy after the collision. In this problem we are given the mass of the two cylinders, M1 equals 1.5 pounds, M2 equals 2 pounds, their initial velocities, V1 equals 0.8 feet per second, V2 equals minus 2.4 feet per second, the coefficient of restitution, E equals 0.5, and the fact that the shaft is smooth. Using this information, we can calculate the final velocities, V1 prime and V2 prime, of the cylinders, after the collision using the equations of motion for elastic collisions.
Once we have the final velocities, we can use them to calculate the total energy before the collision, T1, and after the collision, T2, using the equation T equals 1 half mv squared. And finally, we can calculate the percent of the original energy lost during the impact using the equation N equals T1 minus T2 divided by T1 times 100%. Finally, the percentage of lost energy during collision is 52.7%. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in understanding how to determine the final velocities of two cylinders after a collision, as well as how to calculate the percent of the original energy lost during the impact. Remember to practice these concepts and work through similar problems to solidify your understanding. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you understand how to calculate. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on physics and engineering topics.